Hello everyone, and welcome to the beginning of Hashtag Sock Saturdays, brought to you by IDW Publishing. Today we will be drawing the two-tailed sidekick himself, Miles Tails Prower. Before we begin, make sure you have a pencil, paper, and a handy little reference guide with you to follow at all times. Or, you can just follow along with your handy dandy art programs if you so choose. Ready? Let's go! Part 1. The Head. When we first draw Tails, look at his reference, you'll notice that his head is shaped pretty weirdly. Um, it's not necessarily something that's similar to Sonic, because Sonic's head is a circle. But Tails is kind of like a weird bent circle. The best way I can describe his head is that it's kind of like a circle kind of cut in half. Or rather, it's similar to a human face, actually. Like um, a little bit of an oval. If you ever studied anime characters, uh, they kind of have a similar spatial structure. Speaking of structure, let's focus on Tails' guidelines. We need to place guidelines to indicate where his eyes are, where his muzzle starts, and where his eyes actually stop at. Generally, you always place a guideline on top of his eyes, the middle making it his eyes and indicating where he's looking at, and then usually at the lower bottom where we start the muzzle at. Those guidelines, it's time to just either lightly erase those guides or lower the opacity of that sketch layer because we are going to be drawing right on top of it. <laughs> Let's start with his muzzle. Think of his muzzle like it's three mountains, um, or rather three hills. Next is Tails' fluff. It's part of his muzzle, and each side of his face is like four little tufts of hair. When we draw Tails' eyes, they're kind of like oval shaped, and they're not necessarily a mono eye like Sonic has. They're two eyes. By the way, while you're drawing his eyes, don't forget to place Tails' actual eye in his sockets. Remember, Sonic characters have oval-shaped eyes, always. And make sure their pupil is also shaped that way. And add a bit of reflection, because they always need it. He's got a bit more of a snout, by the way. And, I mean, yeah, because he's a fox. So make sure you space out his nose. And his nose is also different from Sonic or a lot of other characters. He's kind of got a little triangle shape going on there. Also, don't forget to actually draw Tails' head. Tails' tuft of hair, speaking of which, is a little weird. It's three strands that stick out from the middle of his forehead. I always kind of thought it looked like a weird reverse cow lick or something. You can draw a guide if you'd like as well. I kind of drew out a guide on top of his forehead and just drew the three little lines and then kind of built on top of them. Something to keep in mind is that his tuft of hair is always facing in front of his head. I like to think of his hair kind of looks like grass, actually. Tails is a fox. Kind of? No, 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 no. He's definitely a fox. And so his ears are completely different from, like, Sonic or, you know, any kind of Sonic character, really. They're huge, and they're kind of similar to Blaze, if you've ever drawn her. It's like a triangle that's three-dimensional and big, and it helps kind of frame the weird shape of his head and it kind of comes together that way though so let's place them on the top of his head and don't forget very very important inside his ear tails has this weird shape going on i have no idea what it is but make sure you put it in there i think it's like inside his ear or something oh and don't forget to give tails a mouth that's a bit important now that tails's head is finished it's time to move on to part two the body. So Tails' body is a little weird. I always kind of imagine the base of his actual body like a beanbag, and I feel it's similar to Eggman's body as well, but we'll get to that later. To get a better understanding of the shape of Tails' body, you really need to study how it's structured. See it for what it is. It is also slightly similar to a bean, and Sonic's body is kind of similar to this when we eventually draw him. But crunched down and more squished. Um, Tails is also shorter and younger, so his body type is going to reflect that. So everything is more miniaturized and chibi. Chibi Tails? When it comes to placing down the arms and legs, make sure you're drawing lines to indicate where these arms and legs are going to be placed. Remember, think of drawing a character like building it out of wire and clay almost. You're building this character off of a skeleton, literally. Wait, it's not Halloween, what the? After those guidelines, I usually put a diamond placeholder or a circle at least for the hands and then pizza feet for the feet. When we go into more detail, let's focus on the socks. Remember, 
These socks are like cylinders, and Tails has these cylinders on his legs and his arms. With those basic shapes, it's time for the main event. Tails, Tails being Tails, up with a Tails drawing and his Tails. His actual, his actual Tails. Did I mention Tails? So his tail is like a simplified fox tail. It's drawn in a way where it's huge, but kind of fluffy. At the end of his tail, there's always three tufts for fur sticking out. And that design always follows from for the white line indicating a color change. Make sure you draw two tails, by the way, with the same aspect. After all, we need those tails for flying. Getting into more detail, let's go back to his chest base. He's a very fluffy fox boy and a good lad. Make sure you draw tufts of his fur, each three tufts, and then his whole chest to basically all white. When we get to his hand details, think of skeletons and sticks. Usually you draw a hand with a box and I usually just kind of draw little sticks or wires or whatever is easy for you, just lines and <clears throat> that kind of represents the fingers. I draw the palm as a rectangular cube and then ensure that each finger is drawn out as a stick. Don't forget the thumb as well. This also applies to both hands as well. It's also time to give more detail to those socky things on Tails' arms and legs. They're like two circles softly squished together. Fun fact, at the end of Tails' socky gloves, there's a subtle gray ring. Speaking of detail, ensuring you are giving detail to Tails' shoes. His shoes are a bit simpler. And so make sure you're including the shoe rim, then draw a line in the middle of a shoe. Don't forget to add meat to Tails' arms and legs, and it's time to clean up. Part of this process is basically lightly lowering your sketch layer opacity, or simply erasing your sketch lightly with a kneaded eraser, and then carefully cleaning up your sketch. It's completely normal that during this process, you're fixing up mistakes as you go along. Heck, I do that all the time, even in this video. It's always important to remember that you will always make mistakes when you sketch, and that's kind of the point of learning and practicing. Use the opportunity to practice and finish what you started before trying again. It's honestly the best way to learn. And with that, you're finished! That's a good looking Tails drawing there! We want to see how you did, so send over your Tails drawing using the hashtag, hashtag Sonic Saturdays. Please, we want to see your stuff! If you liked my stuff, be sure to follow me on my social media where I post more Sonic stuff or whatever else I post. Ensure to follow IDW Publishing for more amazing stories and visit idwpublishing.com sonic for more comic books and more Sonic 30th anniversary fun. See you guys next week!